Hey guys, Andrew again here with Samson at the Samson Pro Shop. Uh, today we're going to talk about our sights that are specifically designed for the SIG 556 platform. The Samson quick flip sights for the SIG 556 are just as our other products made of uh, 6061 aircraft grade aluminum, um, hard cut anodized uh, type 3, and uh, laser engraved windage on the A2 rear. Now the rear sights, they come in uh, uh, A2 style, which is a dual aperture, uh, in which the large aperture is uh, a zero uh, from 100 to 200, and then the small, when you flip it, is a 300 to 500 uh, zero. They also come in the same plane, which both the peeps are in line with each other when you flip them. The front sight comes in either an HK style or an A2 style, standard uh, on a, uh, a M16 uh, A2 st uh, style halo. Uh, the, the elevation is adjustable in the front sight post with a standard A2 uh, sight post adjustment. Um, they are spring deployed, so when you lock them down, you simply push the button and it deploys them. Now, you can find these products uh, on our website at samson-mfg.com, and then just a second here, I'm going to show you how to install them. We're going to start with the rear sight because uh, it's standard uh, rail mount, just as any other uh, AR-15 sight or um, Picatinny rail mount sight. Uh, we're going to use a flathead screwdriver, uh, loosen up the clamp, and we're going to pick the uh, designated recoil slot that we like and lay it on there, loosen it up until it drops down, and then we're going to tighten it up. Now, anytime you mount an accessory to a Picatinny rail and a re recoil slot. You always want to shove it all the way to the back of the recoil slot. So we'll tighten this down. Good and tight. And now it's mounted. Now the front, <clears throat> as you see on the SIG 556 gas block, uh, there's a dovetail cutout. Uh, some 556s come with a, uh, a front sight already there. Uh, what you would do in that uh, is uh, there's a nut on one side, it's around when you punch out a roll pin unscrew it and then tap it out. Uh, ours has the other end, the dovetail. We'll simply remove the screw that has, there's a screw on one side and a square nut on the other. And the dovetail is cut into the bottom of our base. It will slide right into the dovetail cut on the gas block. We'll then put our square nut back in and tighten the screw. Now the screw, when we tighten it, it's going to center naturally center uh, the sight, so there is no left and right adjustment needed um, for this front sight post. Again, the elevation adjustment is in the front; the windage adjustment is in the rear. Uh, these sights are standard AR-15 height, we'll call it, um, so they will co-witness with the EOTEX and the aim points with the riser in them. Um, the 556R is the uh, 762 uh, by 39 variant of the 556. We have tested our sights out on those, and in fact, the rear sight with a 100-yard zero on the large um, aperture is equivalent to a 300-yard zero with the small aperture uh, on the A2 rear sight. Now, same plane is going to be 100-yard, uh, and when you flip it, another 100-yard. So the uh, windage adjustment on the rear sight is just over half MOA per click. Now, that's uh, the uh, Samson Quick Flip SIG uh, front and rear sight package. Uh, again, you can find them on our website. Uh, in the future, we're going to be talking about this uh, quad rail that uh, the Samson Star 556, uh, doing an install video on it, telling a little bit about it. Uh, also talking about, uh, we, I mentioned earlier about the uh, aperture. I think we're going to end up doing a video on explaining the difference between an A2 aperture and a same plane aperture, uh, as well as the, the, the um, showing them and how what the difference is with some yardage. And um, So stay tuned to us, um, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, Instagram. We got a whole bunch more videos coming out. Um, give us feedback. Let us know questions. Um, hit us up with ideas, other stuff that you guys want to see, and and we'll try to get it out there for you.